Today we'll be plastering a sun hive made with rye straw and this is based on a recipe by the German biodynamic farmer and beekeeper Matthias Thun. Here we are on Joel's organic farm where he explains a little about the harvesting of rye grass and its use in the sun hive structure. When the straws fully dry, it will be bunched up in little bundles and woven horizontally around the hive structure. All the leaves need to be removed and it needs to be kept tightly bunched. The rye will continue to ripen over the next 15 days or so and can be cut off each bundle before the hive is being built. Here Joël and Olivier will now demonstrate the mixing and application of the plaster which comes from Matthias Thun's recipe, a biodynamic farmer and beekeeper. So the earth that they're using here is similar to the earth that they use in Torchy, which is a local Norman method of construction. And the earth is similar to what you would use in wattle and daub. So the earth needs to be broken up so that it's easier to mix. And once the, once the earth is broken up into smaller, finer pieces, this can then be mixed with the three buckets of cow dung. And here they are. Quite nice and firm, very important. Smells lovely too, always enjoyable during your working hours have a wonderful aroma. So the earth and the cow dung gets mixed together. And to that mix, you incorporate the half a bucket of wood ash. So it's three buckets of cow dung, half a bucket of earth, half a bucket of wood ash and three to five litres of whey. And all this is now being mixed together and ready to be applied to the straw, straw hives. Now you can do this with a trowel or you can do this by hand, but make sure you wear gloves if you're doing it by hand, as the wood ash can be quite damaging to the hands. It's very alkaline. So you can see Joël here getting a good thick plaster on initially and Olivier is, is tidying up afterwards, getting a nice smooth finish. It's worth mentioning here that you probably don't need to be a professional to do a good job. And as Joël so rightly puts it, it's almost a shame to, to have to cover up such a beautiful straw structure with all that cow dung. But this will keep the bees nice and cool in the summer and warm in the winter. And as you can see by, by Joël's efforts, he's making it look like hard work, but um, I'm sure it doesn't have to be. And depending on how, you, how long you want to stay doing the task, you can get a relatively smooth or rough finish. Taking care to remove any stones and other niggling points that may not provide the best finish. So these structures will take a month to dry and then they can be put in the garden and next year they'd be ready for the bees to go in. If you would like to find out more about sun hives, there are some resources online typing sun hives into Google. <laughs>